Hello, I'm back. <laughs> I'm trying to make like quite a few videos in one go because I am short on time. Like I don't have any, well I do have me time, but I spend a lot of time sleeping because of the fact that I work so much now. Third shift really like takes that time out, but I don't know. I'm supposed to work four days, but I'm working five. So, you know, when I had the three days, I spent the first day sleeping and I had two days to do whatever I wanted. So that was going to be like, you know, but right now I have one day because we're on five days because of the fact that it's holiday season and retail, they, yeah, retail, you're not getting out. <laughs> so this is a palette I bought a while ago. It is the Sour Patch palette from Morphe and um, I'm, I'm filming this and I'm like, I hope it's still for sale. I think it still is. <laughs> I am so sorry. Like, I am really trying. I'm like, I'm, there's like a lot of light. I'm trying to figure out if that will work or, because I don't want too much lighting. So, you know. Okay, so I'm trying to see if, um, oops, I went to Ulta. <laughs> I'm trying to see if this is still on Morphe. There's this one fly that's been bugging me like this whole morning. It is 10.34. I bet, I think it's been quite a day. So let me try to see if I can get this to not do that. Okay. So let me see. They do have a few things up. I'm trying to see if the Sour Patch Palette is still on here. Collabs? Yeah, Sour Patch Kids um, collab is still up. So I did have the makeup brush. Um, brushes. Um, I rolled my eyes at myself. I do have the makeup sponges right here. The palette's still available, the sponges are still available, the spray, I guess, is sold out, and so is the lip gloss. But, I'm gonna go ahead and open these so I can show you the sponges. I have not used them. Look at how cute. Do you see the little sour patch on there? They're very soft, so I, I'm, you can get right up in there to do your face and stuff with that one. I'm definitely gonna use these, just not today. They have a more, like, really precise one right here. This one does not, oh, yeah, it does. It has a little red dude right there. So this one, I don't know. It's got like a little shape and everything. Like what would you use? Like I guess no nose contour. You could really do that if you like cream products. I would use that with a cream product personally. And then we have this little one right here. Like that. I guess that's still for more like precise if you wanted to do that. We have another one that I would just use for foundation. You know, baking if you want to do that. Or like I said, foundation. Um, another little dude on there. And then finally, there's one more. This one is $19 for these sponges. This one's very little, very tiny. There's a little man right there. So I would use that one to put on my eye primer, my ABH eye primer. That's what I would use that one for. But they're very soft, so they're, I, these feel like they'd be great to work with. I already have my foundation on, so I can't use them today. But I thought you would feel, um... Not feel. I thought you'd be interested in CDs. So we have that, and then we have these um, continuous setting mist. I've heard really good things about it. Look, there's the watermelon on here, and I love the watermelon sour patch. Like I really do. I really hope this won't give me a headache. Like it's a continuous setting mist. So I'm gonna do it. So okay, it smells just like the candy. So I'm pretty sure it's not gonna give me a headache. That's such a fine mist. Oh. Mm. Okay, so that smells good. I'm not gonna... Well, I am gonna set my foundation. Yeah, I'll set my foundation and all this that I have going on. So, let me hold my breath. Mmm. That's actually so refreshing. Even layer all through the throughout the face. I missed the set of my face, though. Mmm. Okay, and as long as you're pressing it, it does have that continuous spray. And it's a nice fine mist. I felt it land all on my face. So I really like that. And I don't, I don't think it has alcohol in it. So like not even a little bit. Let me check. Not a fruit product. Pressurized container. Probably does. 
I don't know. Okay, so the ingredients don't say anything about it. Avoid spreading in eyes. Contents under pressure do not puncture or incinerate. Do not store at temperatures above 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep out of reach of children. Do not pierce or burn even after use. Do not spray on a naked flame or any incandescent material. Alright, so let's wait and see if I get a migraine or a headache from that. I'm going to turn off my heater so we don't hear that humming. Here's the gloss. It's very pretty. Also smells like the watermelon one. The packaging's on there. I'm excited about that one. I'm hoping I have a big old box of recyclables over there right now. You see it like that, that right there. Okay, so here's the palette box. My baby tried to get into it again. He just loves, he just loves palettes. He, he got into three of them and they are irreparable. So that, that's just that. There's nothing to be upset about there. Okay, my face, I feel it. It feels a little sticky. Not, like, not the bad sticky. Like, I can tell my makeup is like, I feel it locked in. I have never felt a setting spray like that. So, um, that's interesting. I might buy the normal one. If anyone uses the normal one, can you tell me if it has a scent to it? Like, a really strong scent or if it's scent free. But, no mirror, but it's cute little packaging. Look at these bright colors. Like, beautiful. So... I am going to try to think up of, I don't know, something. <laughs> uh, trying to do videos back to back is kind of difficult to come up with something new. And I'm just like, hmm, what to do? What to do that I have not done yet? There's, there is quite a bit here. There's quite a few options let me do the swatches of these first because I, I normally tend not to use the shimmers in a palette when there's so many mattes these are so pretty like they're a little grainy but I take that to be like I don't know kind of like oh so here's that one single swatched it's almost clear so here we go with the other ones those are them not like the most impressive shimmers they're very pretty they're subtle so let me take a second let me look up some pictures on Instagram and combine something in my head to see if I can come up with something I am very ill prepared but before I do that the palette is $22 it's still available on morphe.com. Oops, hit Snapchat instead. Let me see what Ulta, if Ulta has it. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Should have checked a minute ago when I was on Ulta, you know. So, Ulta early Black Friday deals. So, there is the Black Friday that's going on right now. So, let me see. Sour Patch. And Morphe? No? I don't see it popping up. Nope. So the Sour Patch isn't exclusive to the Morphe website. They did have it for a second on Instagram, so I'm not 100% sure if it's still there. But the palette and the sponges are still on the Morphe site itself. Let me see what I'm coming up with. I think maybe something fairy is what I'm looking at. I'm seeing... I say fairy because it's very colorful, very pretty. I think that might be what we're going to be doing. Like very fairy tale, woodsy kind of thing. Mystical. I'm thinking mystical is what we're going to do. So let's, let's, let's try it. So we're going to begin with the... Oh, okay. So I have kind of an idea. So we're going to go in with blue raspberry. This one. Let's see. Normally the Morphe formulas for me are like okay. They're not all... Sometimes they're mists. Sometimes. I'm pulling my mirror forward. Look, it's right there. So we're going to try to do, like, blue. Ooh, that's very powdery. It was, like, flying off in the air. Off my brush. So we're going to do this. Oh, 
Okay. Up, 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 up. We're gonna go here. Looks like I might be using the wrong brush, but we'll find out in a second. Okay, so pigmented, yes. Easy to put down, yes. Any fallout yet? No, no fallout yet. That's from my previous makeup, though. It was on there, though. Okay, so then I do want to go in with this yellow right here. Lemon squeeze. Wait. No, I'm going to do the green and then the yellow. So we're going to do this lime burst. Let's see how green this really is. Okay, so not bad. Not bad at all. Oh yeah, it's picking up beautifully on camera, I'm glad. So, very pretty green right there. Doing it on the inner section right here as well. Leaving a little bit of space. Just a little bit. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. And now I'm going to go in with Lemon Squeeze. This yellow. Really get in there, really get it on there. And then I'm going to put it on the outer section of that green. Did you see how much it like fluffed off? But it's not actually falling onto my skin. So that's nice. It's just floofing away into the air though. Still more. And now I'm going to finish off the inner section of my lid like this. Okay, I am loving how neon these are translating. Like, do you see that? Wow. I did use the ABH eye primer. It's a little more liquidy. I really wanted a good base for these, especially since I've been like removing other makeup. So, oh, that's very nice. And now because of that, I actually want to go in with somewhat fluffy brush still. And the intersection of that blue, I think I'm going to do intersection of the blue. I think, I think we're going to go with this as a base first. So that as a base in between that blue right there. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with this one. That, so the pale color right here, the nude one, is unwrapped. And I'm going to go in with Super Sassy, the shimmer. I'm just going to get a bit of it on this brush. I'm going to see how it does. Being put down with a fluffy brush. Normally it's not the ideal way to do it. But that one actually you picked up quite nicely on there. So it's nice and shimmery now. Okay, I do like that. Oh, cool. And now for the bottom of the eye, bottom on the bottom, we're gonna do this orange, orange craze. There's a fly on my shoulder. It's whispering to me. And we're gonna do it on the inner bottom lash line. And just a warning, since I'm gonna be doing multiple videos today, you're probably gonna see this fly in like my other videos <laughs> until I can kill it. But we are doing the orange on the bottom, that orange craze. These are super vibrant. Like, wow. Okay, so we have the orange. And then we're going to go in with this pink one right here. Pink strawberry. It's got the little man on there. And same thing. Just laying it down. Making sure we got great color payoff. So there's a slight hint of a headache kicking in. Because the smell does not dis dissip dis dissipate 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 dis dis it does not go away. <laughs> oh my goodness! And now we're gonna go with this red one, red berry. That one's got a R by it, so I'm pretty sure that is trademarked or something. I don't know. Fluffing it out almost towards the bottom of the yellow over there i love this it's beautiful and then in the inner corner we are going to go with this one sugar crush 
just like this. So we have this beautiful shape going on, but I want to do something a tad different than I normally would. Just a little bit, not too crazy. I'm gonna go in with, ah, almost like a liner brush, but it's thicker. So we're gonna do this. I'm trying to see if I really wanna do that. I think I do though. I'm gonna go with this purple right here, the Gimme Grape. I'm gonna see, we're gonna try something new today. It's just a bit different on the orders of things I normally do since I already have the color laid down. And I'm gonna try to cut through these shades a bit to add, well not cut through them, but like add a line. It's just a reverse order is what I'm doing right now. And I'm just gonna add that purple. Because now I know where my colors are. And I'm just going to try to like, I guess wing it out. But backwards now. So kind of like that. But I want to add some of this watermelon woe to that. You see how I kind of left that? kind of like light so I'm going to try to add some of this to it like on top and blend it out towards well blend it towards the inner part to kind of soften that right there and get a dimension a little bit of dimension added to that line so we've got that like the flies really bugging me so I'm I do like the purple. I like that like offish pink kind of tone we got going on on it with it on top. Ooh. It's definitely, definitely very bright. Like just bam in your face kind of look. That The fly is going to get to me. I have to kill it before I finish this video. But with this, I'm liking how it is right now. So I'm going to leave this like that. I'm going to do the other eye. Do my brows, my lashes. Do a lip color. I'm probably going to do like a nude so I can do that gloss over it. And I'll be right back. Hopefully, I'll kill the fly before I come back too. So, I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> okay, I'm back. There we go. So, eyebrows. The eye. I feel like I need to balance out the top because it's really harsh, kind of. I don't know. Definitely harsh. Um, I'm using the... Cara Beauty Lashes with the light pink on them. I really wanted to. I just, I had to. I'm looking at that. And I think I am going to try to um, soften the harshness from that right there. So I am going to go in with Watermelon Woe. And add it to here. To balance out that purple line I put in the actual crease. Weird how adding another bright color can actually help balance something out, right? So we're going to add it like that, right there, just to kind of balance it out a bit because I did think it was looking a little too harsh. So that's just what I'm going to do as a last touch. And then I did use like a neon pink in my bottom waterline. There we go. That helped a bit. Okay, so the neon pink that I used for my bottom waterline was the one from Beauty Creations and Dreamopia. Dreamopia. It's really bright pink. And then we're going to do the gloss as the final step. So let's see how that looks. It's very pretty. I did a very pink lip. Getting it on there, getting more. Had it going for two dips. Getting it really on there. It's sticky. It's. Oh, well, it's not. Okay, so it's not sticky, gloopy. It feels thick. That's what I meant. It feels a little thick. Any thicker than. Any stickier than. Any, like any other gloss? No. Not really. It's not doing that stringy thing. So that's good. So the gloss smells nice. It adds a really nice sheen to the lips. The 
the glitter kind the little specks of like glitter in there kind of get lost but i think that's why it makes it look so juicy glossy so i do like it it's very scented so there's a lot of scents going on with the spray the palette luckily is not scented it's very vibrant very beautiful. I did not try the black today. Surprising. I normally go for the black shadows. But based on the other shadows. Like look. My lashes are already lifting. Oh. Um, based on the other shadows. I'm pretty sure it's going to be pigmented. They were easy to blend. They are super vibrant. I'm very happy with this palette. I'm like really excited to continue using it. And like I said. It's still available on the website. On morphe.com. If you want to check it out. I would definitely go for it. It's wonderful remember you can use discount codes on morphe you haven't signed up for their emails get that 15 percent off get get it sent to you you know there's uh, a couple of other things on that website right now that are interesting that look interesting so you can check that out but other than that that is it for the video there was no fallout my palette there still looks nice and neat there is no kickback in it that ruined any of the setting and that is really it one is i think this was a success over everything like wow beautiful wonderful just keep a eye out for the super scented spray because it's a slight headache not too bad definitely not a migraine just a little ache right here so if you get migraines from scents just keep an eye on that i'm probably gonna have to like air out the room wipe off my face <laughs> but uh enough rant rambling all that i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for hanging out with me